Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Hey, so I just wanted to pop on here and let you know that I'm gonna be going for my first coronavirus COVID-19 vaccine shot today. Uh, I got a couple hours before I have to leave the house. And uh, yeah, I was thinking, how am I gonna prep for this? There's really no prep, I've looked it up. Some people say there is, you know, when to take Tylenol, whatever. I haven't found it, I looked on my state um, COVID-19 page. I didn't find anything that told me that I had to do anything to prep. Um, but I am going to drink a bunch of water. That's always a good thing for any reason to keep those, uh, your antibodies and your fighter cells, you know, nice and plumped up with water. So I'm going to drink my typical, um, glass of water. I'm going to fill this up and I'm going to uh, get this into my system and then I'm going to go and uh, get the shot. I will film as I approach. I'm not going to film as I get the shot because the person giving the shot probably wouldn't like that. Uh, and then I have to sit and wait a couple minutes after I get it. So I will uh, definitely film in the car as I'm waiting. Um, hopefully everything goes perfect, perfect, perfect. My husband's already had the two shots. He works for a school, so he um, got them. Uh, he got them in March. He got the first one in March and the second one the first week in April. And my the state fifth of April was when 55 and over could get the shot. So I had pre-registered on my state's, you know, mass.gov vaccines state uh, page or whatever. I pre-registered like two weeks before I was um eligible and then i got the email i mean the text message last friday telling me that i could register it was like the night before i got a text saying tomorrow you will get the text so that you can schedule your vaccine and so i got the text um right away friday i um set it up and i set it up for monday so that was quick easy um, you know, I've been reading all the facts, you know, all the questions, uh, people ask about safety, about it and all that. So I'm pretty confident that this is the right thing to do and that there's no, um, you know, adverse reason not to get the vaccine. So anyway, guys, just wanted to kind of take you along with me on that. And, uh, all right, guys, I'm about to, uh, drive over to where I'm going to be getting my vaccine. I had to make a pit stop all that water I was drinking today. Uh, the place where I'm getting my vaccine is about 45 minutes away from home. So uh, yeah, I headed out and I headed out early. So anyways, I will show you um, the location. Right, guys. Oh, here I go. Okay guys, I just got my vaccine. Now I'm sitting here waiting to uh, make sure everything is okay. And surprise, surprise, I got the Johnson & Johnson. They said uh, they were giving that. I expected to get Pfizer because that's what my husband got here. But I got the, uh, the Johnson & Johnson. So one and done, I got my little COVID vaccine card and I got my little sticker. <laughs> and so, yeah. I'm gonna take some ibuprofen when I get home because I heard that the Johnson & Johnson has a little more side effects than the others. So uh, we'll, we will see. I will definitely check in with you later on, uh, let you know how I'm feeling, uh, but I am one and done. Hi guys, it's, I just got back home. Um, it's about three o'clock. I had, um, my shot was at like quarter of two. So it's been, about an hour since I had my shot. Sorry, I got no lipstick on. I got nothing because I had my mask on. No reason to wear lipstick. So I'm gonna take my Advil. I have two Advil that I'm gonna take. Um, the guy who gave me the shot said I should take some Advil, some ibuprofen. So I'm gonna take the Advil and um, see how I feel as the night progresses. Right now I feel fine. I don't have a sore arm. Um, I don't have any, anything right now. So 
before I do, I'm going to take my Advil. <laughs> so I will check in with you guys um, either later tonight, depending. If I have some symptoms, I may check in. If not, I'll check in tomorrow and just let you know um, how I'm doing. And uh, I'm glad it's over. Hi, guys. So it is um, It's 8 o'clock at night, and it's been, what? Uh, six hours since I had my shot. I know I look like death warmed over, but I feel fine. <laughs> I um, just been laying around watching TV. The only thing that I feel is thirsty. I've been feeling very thirsty. So I've been drinking a lot, but I don't feel any side effects whatsoever. Um, I'm going to be uh, heading to bed pretty soon. I typically don't go to bed until I would say maybe 10 30 11 o'clock usually uh, but it's only eight and I am feeling a little bit tired so um, I think that I will go to bed um, early tonight and just read and get cozy and um, I don't know if it was the Advil that I took that helped, but, um, yeah, so me and Joey, <laughs> hi, Joey, hi, little boy, <laughs> my husband just went up to bed because he gets up at 4.30 every day, uh, so he does turn in pretty early, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know. I think it was fine. I don't think I'm going to have any ill effects. Um, if I do, I will certainly let you know, but it seems as though I'm going to just literally be one and done. Good morning, guys. Well, it is the next day and it is about eight o'clock, well, maybe 8.30 in the morning. And I just had to um, get back on here and tell you what happened uh, last night. So when I last checked in with you about eight o'clock, I was feeling fine. Uh, I went to bed probably about 10 and uh, woke up at 2.30 with uncontrollable shivering. And uh, that lasted about 20 minutes. I took my temp, it was 99.9. .9, so it must have been the temperature that, uh, the fever that was causing the chills. Uh, I sat up for probably about 20 minutes, like I said, and then I went back to bed. And waking up this morning, I am uh, very slow going. I feel very much like I have a fever. I took my fever, I took my temp again. eight which my temp usually runs around 97 point something. So yeah, I definitely am having a fever. I am definitely having a reaction. Um, I have the thing about working from home is that, uh, you know, you should be able to continue to do your meetings um, because you're at home. So I did get up, get dressed, get ready. I have a couple of meetings uh, throughout the day that I'm gonna plan on attending. I uh, took the Advil last night at 10 before I went to bed, took two Advil, um, and then took two Tylenol. I'm switching over to Tylenol this morning. So I'm pretty slow going today. I will definitely check in with you later on uh, and let you know how long this feeling lasts and when I start to feel back to normal. Hi guys. So I'm checking in with you. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon. I am feeling completely like myself again. My fever is gone, uh, back to normal. So yeah, the side effects are done. Um, and yeah, so I'm glad to have gotten the vaccine and gotten everything over with and uh, I'll keep an eye on things, make sure I don't have any other problems or side effects, but for now, it looks like I am uh, back, back to normal. So thanks for uh, going through this journey with me. Um, I hope that you are able to get the vaccine where you are. Um, and that uh, we can all <laughs> move forward from here. 
So thanks again, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.